A lot of people that are not used to working in the bush and living in the bush can often see the bush as a hostile environment, which is not true. The bush is neutral. It's not really for you and it's not against you. Being able to read nature, being able to feel comfortable nature, it's very important for a field ranger. We train quite a lot of survival and bushcraft skills because it increases their awareness in the outdoors because poachers have these skills as well. So sometimes you can notice how plants that have got edible berries, for example, are being harvested. That's a type of sign that's left behind. And by us learning how to use those resources as well, we're also aware of how other people might use them too. And that helps us to know what to look for. So we use bushcraft as a way of bringing students closer to nature, helping them understand certain plants can provide us with water, they can provide us with food, medicine. It helps them feel safer in the bush. Fire making is naturally very, very important when you're out there because fire, you can purify water, you can signal, keep away dangerous game, keeps you warm, also maintaining your body's core temperature. So we like to do quite a lot of firecraft. It's very fun and we go into fire by friction, also the ferrocerium rods. It's fundamentals to spending time in the outdoors to understand navigation. And it can very easily happen that on a high speed follow up with a winding trail, people trying to pull evasive action, especially in bad weather conditions that one gets very disorientated. Therefore, they trained in survival so that they can survive out there with very little equipment if needs be, but also to get their bearings back. And a lot of the time we would look at signs in nature that are going to give that to us, as well as the, the, the common stuff like, you know, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. It's all, all very simple, but important when it comes to spending time in the outdoors. Mm -hmm.